threat presented by chemical, biological, radiological and nuclear weapons and hazards is constantly evolving. So in order to counter and mitigate these threats, the UK has strived to provide its armed forces with the best CBRN equipment available and continues to do so today. As part of personal CBRN equipment, the respirator is the most important, individually issued system required to sustain life in a CBRN environment. As the threat changes, so must respirator technology. A new system must provide the best available protection and reduce the burden on the wearer. The state-of-the-art respirator that has been developed with these capabilities is the General Service Respirator, commonly known as the GSR. The GSR is the most tested and trialled respirator the UK Armed Forces has ever developed. New methods and systems had to be devised in order to test the GSR to its full potential. Trialling has exposed the GSR to the extremes of stifling heat in Australia and the freezing temperatures of Norway, along with the associated dust and moisture expected in these climates. To confirm its ability to operate with all equipment, weapons and platforms available to the UK Armed Forces, it has undergone exhaustive integration trials. To ensure that the frontline commands were satisfied that the new system performed to their exacting standard, personnel wearing the GSR were put through rigorous and arduous trials. These user trials confirmed that the respirator would perform no matter what the activity, whatever the environment, and without any loss of protection. The GSR brings other benefits to the wearer beyond that of the increased respiratory protection that it provides. The use of modern flexible and malleable materials make for a better fit to the face, enhancing the sealing capability and also improving comfort for the wearer. I personally think that the new GSR respirator is a good piece of kit. It's, um, it's, it's taken into account everything that was bad about the S10 respirator and uh, just changed it, made it a lot better. Its use of two canisters reduces the breathing burden associated with negative pressure respirators and will allow the wearer to change each canister safely whilst continuing to breathe. I'd be more comfortable with the GSR than the S10 to be caught with it. It's a lot easier to put on as well. The drinking system has been designed to meet the needs of the wearer in all climates, with an increase of nearly four times the speed of delivery of water compared to the current system. If it comes to a CBRN environment, I'll be much more comfortable using GSR. Both central and peripheral vision have been improved as a result of a single lens. A single lens reduces the claustrophobic effect and enhances communication by allowing clearer observation of facial expressions. The vision is a lot clearer, so I'm a lot more aware of stuff what's going around and it's easier to breathe in, so I feel more confident and competent in the GSR. Communication is further improved through the employment of a specially designed and better positioned speech diaphragm. Communications, obviously, if we've got um, fighter controllers speaking to the aircraft, so they have to have comms with them all the time. We've got the guys on the ground, we've got to relay the environment picture for battle management. So it is going to be a great benefit for our guys. The GSR is the culmination of the most rigorous respirator trials and tests ever conducted by the UK. It is designed to provide the wearer with a respirator that is second to none, no matter what the situation, environment or mission. The GSR is a lifesaver and is a critical component of the force protection equipment available to all service personnel in the UK Armed Forces.